So let me ask you this morning, have you received Jesus? If you have, can we just take a couple of more minutes this morning? Pastor, can I have this liberty? If you've received Jesus by faith, I want you to come on up and I want you to fill this area up here. The first chapter of John says that in the beginning, the Word was with God and the Word was God. And then the Word was made flesh and He dwelt among us and we beheld His glory. The glory is that the only begotten of the Father, full of grace of truth. And then it says, as many as received Him, He's given them the privilege to become the sons of God. If you have received Jesus Christ by faith, then by the kingdom, you have been made a son and a daughter of Almighty God. If you have not received Jesus by faith, friend, I invite you to do it this morning because God is raising up an army that he is going to wield implements of incredible authority and power through in these last days. If you've received him, just I want you to close your eyes and lift up your hands, both of your hands. This is a gesture unto our Father. This says, Father, here I am. And by faith right now, I want you to, I want you to envision and experience that your Father is picking you up and holding you as close to His bosom as you can get. There's a posture of intimacy that the Father is calling us to this morning if you're willing to receive it. Just embrace Him this morning. Just love on Him this morning. As He holds you, as He hugs you, as He draws you near to His chest, as He kisses you over and over and over, just embrace Him back with a genuine expression of adoration and love. friend realize that this this posture is one that doesn't have to be broken this posture of intimacy this posture of love this posture of affection with a father who loves you so much that he sent his only son to die for you this is a posture that you can stay in for every moment of every day of your life father we thank you for this great love We thank you for this great love, Jesus. And Father, I thank you for every person that has received Jesus and have been made a son and daughter of God. And I ask you, Father, with thanksgiving that you administer to the hearts of every person that's in this place so that before they leave today, every one of them would receive you, not in pretense, not as a veneer, not as an accessory, Jesus is the real thing as an authentic expression of faith. Let every person receive you, Jesus. And let every person receive the identity that as sons and daughters, you have crowned them with glory and crowned them with honor. Father, let your your grace rest upon every one of them. Let your grace that influences the heart and transforms the lifestyle, let it rest on every single one of them so that by your grace and by this intimacy that they would be conformed into your image and that they would no longer talk like they used to talk and think like they used to think and live like they used to live. But Lord God, let every ounce of the life that you have called them to be manifest through them because of the spirit that you put in them. Now worship him from this posture. Right here. This intimacy, this affection, this love. Friends, he's accepted you. He approves you in this posture. 
Let your worship come from this place. Not from a song, not from some lyrics, not because it's the right time of the service, but because you are right with the Father. Friends, this is your destiny. This is not just your destiny, but this is the destiny of humanity. To live in the embrace of Almighty God. And friends, let me encourage you, as you stay in this place, and as you live in this spirit of God, you'll learn how to move in this. When you start out, sometimes you'll be crippled because all you can do is just stand still or kneel down or sit still in the presence of Almighty God. But as you live in this place, He'll produce a movement through you. He'll produce a ministry through you. He'll produce a life through you. And you'll realize that you never have to leave this. up your hands one more time to him. Father, we turn our eyes towards you. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts that you have sent Jesus Christ in the flesh so that you could remove our sins away from us. And we're so thankful, Jesus, that the Lamb of God has taken away the sins of the world. And we have the privilege to stand before you, not as wretched sinners, but as forgiven sons that have been reconciled back to a relationship of favor, clothed in righteousness, clothed in holiness, standing in the presence of God for the rest of our days, crowned with glory, crowned with honor, joint heirs with Jesus Christ and heirs to God. You have given us the utmost privilege of knowing Jesus and for that we say thank you. And Father, I thank you for the grace that as we go forth today into this service and as we go forth throughout our day, God, that you have clothed us with the grace that will empower us to know Jesus every moment, every minute of every hour of every day for the rest of our lives. We thank you, Jesus. Will you clap your hands and give the Lord praise this morning? Stay here for a second. Stay here. Steve mentioned something whenever he was talking. He said, God's raising up an army. And that's true. He's raising up an army. He's already raised up an army, but he's going to continue. The Lord is going to have his way. I want to share this with you. Whenever the Hamas stepped over the line of Israel and the war began, there is a beginning that has transformed and changed. Amen. God, for such a time as this, the scripture says that you are here. You are here. We are here. We are here together. But there has been a shift and a change in the name of Jesus. And the Lord has allowed us to go to this place in heavenlies, in, in, in this place to receive strategy. But I'm telling you, the new beginning is God said I need my people to come up even greater because see there he's going to give plan of strategy and war on our knees in the name of Jesus and as Steve was talking about you've got to know your identity in Christ in order to take that platform of that place of invitation that the Lord says come up higher with me in the name of Jesus amen in the name of Jesus he's saying more and God's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. The Lord said, I'm going to have my way, and I'm going to have intercessors 24-7 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's going to have his way in this last hour. And we get to, we get to be a part of what God's doing in this last hour. Come on, lift him up.
whenever I woke up, I had my shoulder was locked up and messed up and I came to church and, and I was like, well, Lord, I said, you healed my shoulder months ago. So hallelujah, is there somebody in this house that has a shoulder that's messed up? Well, before I could even announce it, God already healed them. Come on, give him praise in the house this morning. Amen. And Linda was healed this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Love one another as you return back to your seat.